Welcome to an engagement session. This is a beautiful fall engagement session where you're going to see not only how I shoot, how I edit, but also how I throw all this together into an album that the client absolutely loves. So stay tuned. And since you're still here and interested in watching this video, I know you're going to get a lot out of it. Go ahead and hit subscribe. It means a lot to me, especially if you ring the bell so you get notified. Let's get into this. This is one of my favorite engagement sessions that I have done to date. We were out at the Skylands Manor. It was a little bit cold. I was in a coat. She was uh, fine in her dress, but I'm a baby when it comes to the cold. Anyway, we decided to do this shoot in the morning. So it was 8 a.m. After I shot a wedding the night before, I was definitely tired, but there was nothing stopping my creativity when it came to this shoot. We used a lot of the available light that was there, and I incorporated a lot of movement into the shoot. The shoot itself, honestly, was pretty easy, but I had all of my staples, the things that I typically do, and a very key questionnaire that I asked Amanda and Adam beforehand to just help me get to know them a little bit and figure out what it was that they wanted. If anything, this questionnaire is one of the biggest things that come into play when I'm photographing either an engagement session or a wedding, because I ask about the two of them together, their couple style, the things that they like to do, and then I play that into their day of, whether it's the wedding or the engagement session. Engagement sessions are so nice because we get to warm up to each other. There's definitely an element of nervousness on both sides, Adam and Amanda not having been photographed professionally before and then me being the first time that I've been photographing the two of them so you want to warm up a little bit it is nice to do that and the questionnaire helps of course I have my go-to moves like having them walk or cuddle up against each other usually I'm having them interact with two of them versus interact with me. Now for this session, I decided to play with a lot of different lighting techniques. You're going to see straight natural light with the light coming in at a 45 degree angle behind them, very signature, as long as I have some nice natural reflectors reflecting beautiful light back up in their faces. I did in this case because the ground was more of a white gravel. If I had them in the green grass and the light reflecting on them was more green, then I would throw in a reflector and I did use a reflector now and again here. I also used dramatic lighting as well as soft lighting. I know I sell myself as more of a bright and vibrant photographer with a soft whimsical look, but that doesn't mean that I don't shoot differently. Depending on corporate clients, I shoot completely differently, but for weddings, I love going back and forth and playing in that dark and moody space as well as what I've guaranteed my client, that bright and vibrant, clean look. I had a little bit of fun playing with off-camera flash to give a golden glow to some of these photos and I let the sunlight peek into my lens to get that rainbow flare. I know it's a no-no but I just like it and it's so 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 pretty. We even played around with some white rose petals that we found from clearly the wedding the night before and threw them in front of the camera just added another dimension to it. Now for the album design. If there's anything else that you do for your business this year, having a great album design software is definitely recommended. I use Fundy Album Builder, Fundy Album Software, Album Designer, whatever you want to call it. It is fan. Fantastic. I was able to take all of the favorite photos that my client hearted and loved and right in front of them, right in front of them on Zoom, I go through the entire album and I make any changes that they want to it. It's super simple. When you drag and drop new photos that they want in, the design auto correct its, itself. It's not complicated to throw things into black and white or even to retouch right in the software. Right now they are having a Black Friday sale 40% off, so make sure you check the link below in the description and hopefully right below on this video. It's probably right there on their website too. If you just go to fundydesigner.com, head there and grab the Black Friday special. It is a great, great deal for something that's gonna end up making you so much money. So here's the final album design that I have in Fundy Album Designer. I mean, you can see where we just played around with storytelling elements of sequences and then full pages here. And then of course I've got more of the moodier lighting, some softer lighting in here. And this is my client's actual album design. So this is what they actually purchased and have. And it's just 
absolutely stunning. I couldn't be happier with the design here. So definitely take a look at Fundy Designer and you, you're you just gonna love it. It's so much fun. You're able to do so much, uh, you know, whether it's something like this and throwing things into black and white or back into color, uh, like I mentioned, retouching. And then even if you have a spread like this, you can quickly just mess around with different layouts depending on what you want. Of course, I wanted what I had, so let's just go right back to there. Um, I'm really big on what I call bouncing the eyes. So if I have a three up, then I'm gonna want more of a full bleed. I usually would put this right here because then uh, it spreads it out a little bit more as far as like having two full bleeds together like this. So actually I probably would have done that. Probably should have done that rather. This is what I did. Um, but it's just a lot of bouncing the eyes. Thank you for coming on my actual real client engagement session with me. These guys are not getting married until 2025 uh, in New Jersey, but I'm so happy to be able to give them these photos that they can use. Engagement photos, get, they get used so much. They're used for the engagement party and the save the dates, of course, to decorate a, a home their home, their holiday gifts, uh, anything that you can think of, bridal shower, uh, and definitely decorate the wedding with. Engagement photos get used so much. Wedding photos get cherished a little more. I'll see you later.